Coming up on this month's edition of The Now, a Naperville North chess team member competes at the international level. Students shed light on their self-started enterprises and your monthly sports update. Good morning, Huskies, and welcome back to a new season of The Now. From your Advanced Media Lab, I'm Drake McIntyre. And I'm Erica Brandt. In late September, Marissa Lee attended the World Youth Chess Championships. We go to Harper Dade for the story. Thanks, guys. Naperville North sophomore Marissa Lee is making history. As the first Husky to represent the United States delegation in the World Youth Chess Championships, she is clearly showing mastery in the sport. Last month, Lee represented the United States in a competition in South America, placing in the top half of her division. We sat down with Marissa to gain some more insight in her journey to the top of the youth chess world. Well, ever since I was a freshman, really, um, I started coming in eighth grade because uh, middle school, I mean, um, there wasn't really much stuff you could do, so I just came for fun. They wanted me to kind of challenge everybody to like, get to the top. Um, so I started at actually 8th board or like JV basically and I just worked my way up. At first I guess they do it by like ranking like and by that I would have been on first board already but a lot of the people on our team are really good so it took um, a little bit um, to get up there. And as a freshman it's sometimes a little nerve wracking so sometimes you know Coach Diorio kind of like you know makes sure that I'm like really strong and supporting the team and like uh, uh, as first board, I kind of have to be the um, person that like um, leads the team a little bit, you know, in that mm -hmm. regard. We caught up with NNHS chess team coach and sponsor, Mr. DiOrio, about discussing Marissa's abilities as an outstanding team member and chess player. Marissa has been very successful over her life in chess, but she's also put in far more time than pretty much anyone else we've had as well. So I think her dedication is is a big reason why she's good at it. And I mean and that's how it works in life. The more dedicated you are to things, you know, you'll you'll improve. So she's definitely put in thousands of hours. Um her her you know, she's very structured, she works hard, she she knows mentally how to get herself out of a out of a, a, a valley and get back to a peak. Um, she's really resilient, which I think is helpful. And she truly loves the game and loves to compete. So I think those are keys for her success. This is Harper Dede. Back to you guys. Thanks, Harper. Naperville North is home to many driven individuals. Liam Stenson has the story on a few entrepreneurs who run their own businesses. Many students have very creative talents here at North, including entrepreneurship. We reached out to a few students to get an inside look at some of their businesses. We're an apparel company. We just sell t-shirts right now. And uh, we kind of started just because we want to do something different. We've kind of always just been sitting around these past years and we wanted to start our own business. Chris Johnson and Mantis try to choke us also wanted to give back. Some of their profits go to the Red Cross to help with Hurricane Harvey relief. Uh, I'd say so far, like, just we've only had one kind of batch of sales right now and our customers have been primarily North people. But we've gotten some younger kids, some older kids. And uh, we're trying to, after we really get north down, we're trying to expand uh, maybe other schools in the Naperville area. Before progress was made, months of planning had to be prepared for. Chris and Mantis had research on where to find materials, how to print the shirts, and few marketing basics to help with a successful business. We don't have many products. We've got some like long sleeves like here we're wearing, and then we've got some uh, short sleeve variety of colors. But yeah, coming in the fall now, we're going to start releasing a lot more stuff. So yeah, you a lot more stuff on its way. Make sure to check out their Instagram and Twitter handles at offbeat underscore apparel. Mohit Shereria started his reselling shoe business a few years ago since he was able to buy top rated shoes for lower prices. Um, so the business I have is like a reselling business, so I'm able to buy products that like people can't get as easily like as readily as I can and then I sell it at a higher price which there's a market for. I kind of just saw like people are like buying shoes and just kind of like them for more and I was like it can't be that hard to like just buy a shoe and sell it for more like I know my favorite part is like 
when I'm paying my friends to like go camp out for a shoot for me like in Chicago but at the same time we're just like all hanging out there at the same time so I just think like involving my friends in the business is just like super fun. Mohit has an Instagram at 862kicks and also sells on GOAT, an app to buy and sell sneakers. From the North Star, I'm Liam Stenson. Back to you guys. Thanks, Liam. We now go to Maddie Krebs with the monthly sports update. Thanks, guys. What's up, Naperville North? Welcome back to your monthly sports update. Last Friday, Husky football took the field in their annual Crosstown Classic game against rival Naperville Central. We go to Brant Bednars with a complete recap of this highly anticipated matchup. Thanks, Maddie. In the annual Crosstown Classic game played at Benedetti Worley Stadium at North Central College, the Naperville North Huskies look to repeat as champions in the event. And at halftime, leading by a score of 23-13, the Huskies look to be in great shape. Both teams with high-flying offenses throughout the contest, but the Red Hawks could not make a comeback late in the game as Drake Davis, Ryan Lorenzo, and Nick Calcagno had a field day for the Huskies' offense against the defense of the Red Hawks. Huskies won this game by a final score of 44-41. to Maddie. Back to you. Thanks, Brant. Along with football, there have been many other notable sports successes so far this year. Boys soccer recently won the Go for Gold tournament, overcoming a 3-0 halftime deficit in the finals. The girls' cross-country team were champions of the GRIAC invite, and girls' golf gave us our first DVC championship of the year, shooting a 309 and ending Wheaton Warrenville South's three-year DVC champion win streak. In addition, girls volleyball has had an incredible season thus far with many decisive wins. Girls swim and dive recently had their senior night as they celebrated many successes of their own. And girls tennis had two doubles champions at the, the Naperville North invite. If September and October are any clue to how the rest of the Husky sports season will go, this is going to be a pretty memorable year. That's all for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Maddie. And that's all for this month's edition of The Now. Be sure to check out our website at nnhsnorthstar.com and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. From the North Star, this has been Drake McIntyre. And Erica Brandt. Have a great day, Huskies, and we'll see you next month.